In the video, you see the alleged shooter and a woman walk in together. The man then appears to grab a gun from inside the woman's shirt and puts it in his pocket. The gun goes off and you see people ducking for cover before running out the front door. The owners of Land Sharks spoke with 13 News off camera. They say the woman who allegedly had the gun in her shirt should also be held accountable. Land Sharks owners say the surveillance video contradicts what she told police. According to court documents, she told detectives the suspect brought the gun into the club in his coat pocket. In total, six people were shot, including 36-year-old Timothy Brown Jr., who died at the hospital. Brown's family tells 13 News he worked at Land Sharks for years, but was better known as a dad. And most of all, he, he was a father to his five-year-old daughter. 